Gilchrist is best known for providing hospice care. Recently, though, it launched a new program for cancer patients receiving treatment at the Cancer Institute at GBMC. Here now with more on the treatment program is Dr. Delia Caramante. Welcome. Thank you. So tell me a little bit more about this program that's launched with GBMC. Sure. First, I just want to say how excited I am to be a part of it because it really does improve our ability to take care of the whole person and not just the disease. So any person getting cancer treatment at GBMC has access now to a consultation with an integrative physician, me, mm -hmm. and we work together to make an integrative treatment plan that helps with unpleasant symptoms that they might have, improves quality of life or some people just want to talk about sort of a wellness-based approach to cancer treatment. And there are a variety of treatments available now, a lot more than what we had in previous years, previous decades. Absolutely. What are some of those treatments? Well, our program is based on the foundation of consultation with an integrative physician to make an evidence-based treatment plan for the patient. And so we can help people with unpleasant symptoms like pain that's uncontrolled, trouble sleeping, nausea, shortness of breath, anxiety, or even just the stress of dealing with cancer and cancer treatments. Because you mentioned that off the beginning, just about treating the whole people, or treating the whole person. Exactly. And I think a lot of times, you know, when you are diagnosed with something like this, or a loved one is diagnosed about, you just think about getting to the root of the cancer, or treating the physical body. But right. as you say, there's a lot that, that can, cancer patients go through mentally, emotionally. Absolutely. So there's different facets to the treatment. Yeah, and not just the patient, but the family too. It really is a family experience when somebody's going through cancer and cancer treatment. So are there supportive structures that are in place to help the family as well with this? There are. Um, the Cancer Center has their own supports, which is terrific, but then also I often will see the patient and their family together. And we work not just with the patient, but with the whole family unit. So important, especially to help yeah. them get through this time together. So talk about your approaches, because I know that there are a couple different approaches, but what approach do you use? Sure. I would say that I take an evidence-based approach. So I'm a conventional physician first. Mm -hmm. And so I would only recommend things to patients that have some basis in science that they might actually work. And my approach really is completely integrative in that sometimes I'll use medications to help patients with symptoms, but sometimes I might recommend acupuncture. We might talk about um, why, how massage might work. We might discuss mind-body treatments like meditation or guided imagery or relaxation breathing. We might talk about supplements that can be helpful during cancer treatments or even ones that might be dangerous that people should avoid. We talk about um, nutritional interventions sometimes that people can do themselves. So we really, I'm trying to use all the tools that work from the conventional world and the complementary world. How fulfilling is it for you as a doctor to be able to treat patients in a way that, again, speaks to the whole person as opposed to the way it's been done in the past. It's, it's really fantastic. I, it's a blessing to me to be able to do this and basically walk this path with people when they're going through a difficult time and bring to them all the tools that we have in the medical and complementary world that might help them get through it in a positive way, help them thrive. Yes, all hands on deck, all tools to be used. Exactly. All right, so if people want to get more information, they can go to uh, gilchristcares.org slash integrative medicine, correct, right? Yep. Phone number is on the screen, as is the address as well. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Thanks for And we'll be me. right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.